Records in sports are the only formal measurement of greatness. And there's a select few which will likely never be broken. Starting in professional basketball, Bill Russell's 11 championships as a player of the Boston Celtics will likely stand forever, as will John Stockton's career assist total of 15,806. At the end of the 2023 season, no active player was within 4,000 assists of his total. Will Chamberlain owns 72 NBA records, but two of them are thought to be particularly unreachable. His 100 points scored in a single game has never really been threatened, although modern trends suggest that it might. But his scoring average during the 1961-62 season of 50.4 points scored per game is even safer, particularly as Chamberlain actually places second and third on the list too. Joe DiMaggio's single season hitting streak in baseball is one of the most famous records in all of sports. On May 15, 1941, the iconic New York Yankee hit a single against the Chicago White Sox. Two months and two days later, DiMaggio had hit in 56 straight games, surpassing the previous record of 44, which itself had stood since 1897. Pete Rose has gotten the closest, recording a hit in 44 straight games in 1978. But in the 80 years since the record was set, no other player has even surpassed 40 games. Another unreachable milestone in baseball is Ricky Henderson's stolen base record. Henderson stole 1,406 bases across his 25-season MLB career, giving him, appropriately, a very large lead over former record holder Lou Brock. So two records that are probably untouchable, but baseball has one that definitely is. Between May 1982 and September 1998, Cal Ripken Jr. played in 2,632 consecutive games for the Baltimore Orioles, adding over 500 games to Lou Gehrig's record, which had stood since 1939. All three of those records are invulnerable. Ripken's will likely stand for as long as baseball is played. In cricket, Don Bradman's batting average is hallowed ground. Across 53 test matches for Australia, Bradman averaged 99.94 runs per dismissal, with no other test player in history averaging even 65 runs. And in golf, not even Tiger Woods could take Byron Nelson's consecutive wins record away. In 1945, Nelson entered 30 PGA Tour events and won 18 of them. Incredibly, 11 of those victories came in a row. Woods' best was seven consecutive wins, and it's hard to imagine any other player experiencing even his level of dominance again, let alone Nelson's. Now, on to the NFL. Among many other records, Jerry Rice is the all-time receiving yards leader. Across a nearly 20-year career, Rice accumulated 22,895 receiving yards. That's more than 5,000 yards more than Larry Fitzgerald, who is second on the list. And the closest active player to Rice is Julio Jones, who has nearly 10,000 fewer yards than Rice and is already 35 years old. The keys to Rice's success were longevity, availability, and the company he kept. Rice famously kept himself in perfect shape, playing for 19 seasons. During those 19 seasons, there were only two seasons where Rice didn't play in every game. And the prime of Rice's career was spent with the San Francisco 49ers and playing for some of the greatest NFL teams in history, catching passes from Joe Montana and Steve Young, two Hall of Famers, playing for head coach Bill Walsh, another Hall of Famer, and in Walsh's West Coast offense, which he was perfect for. The NFL career rushing record also seems safe. The Cowboys' Emmitt Smith rushed for 18,355 yards during his career, surpassing Walter Payton's previous record, and there are a few reasons why that will likely never be bettered. Smith was incredibly durable, playing professionally for 15 seasons. He also had 4,409 rushing attempts, which is both another NFL record, only 10 running backs in history have even made over 3,000 attempts, and a statistic from a different era. The role of individual running backs has been de-emphasized in the years since, making it highly unlikely that another player will ever carry the ball as often as Smith. And a special mention for Antonio Cromartie's return from a failed field goal attempt. Until the dimensions of a football field are actually changed, nobody could ever surpass his 109-yard touchdown, which is the longest play in NFL history. Swimmer Michael Phelps. Now his Olympic history will almost certainly never be matched. Phelps is the most decorated Olympian of all time, winning 28 medals in total across his career, 10 more than anyone else in history. 
and 23 of those were gold medals, 14 more than the four athletes tied in second place who each have nine. Phelps had an unprecedented dominance in his sport, which explains that gap. But the breadth of his ability, married with the broad range of swimming events per Olympics, in which he could take both part and excel in, means that most Olympians would never even have the opportunity to compete for as many medals, let alone gold. And Simone Biles enjoys a similar position in gymnastics. Biles is still active, so this may actually increase. But as of 2024, she has won 23 World Championship medals. Nobody else in history has more than nine, and Biles is the only active athlete left in the top 20. Now on to Wayne Gretzky, the leading scorer in NHL history, but it's his assist record that will stand forever. Gretzky has 1,963 career assists, which, unbelievably, is more than 700 more than anyone else who has ever played in the NHL. In tennis, Martina Navatilova has been in the Guinness Book of World Records since 2006, having won 344 WTA tennis titles across the course of her career. That includes singles and doubles and 59 Grand Slam titles. Navratilova's 167 singles titles on the WTA Tour put her well ahead of Chris Evert, Steffi Graf, Margaret Court, and Serena Williams. And the highest active player only has 49 singles titles. And finally, in European football, the five consecutive European Cups won by Real Madrid between 1955 and 1960 will never be bettered or matched. Bayern Munich and Ajax managed three in a row, as did Real after the competition was rebranded as the Champions League, but Alfredo De Stefano and his teammates are secure in their history. As is Lionel Messi, who has won the Ballon d'Or, football's highest individual honor, eight times. Cristiano Ronaldo won five, but no other player has ever won more than three. But tell us about your favorite records in the comments below. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic is home to the best team of sports writers, reporters, and analysts in the world, offering exclusive stories and unrivaled insight. You can try The Athletic for free for 30 days by clicking the link in the description.